All right, everyone. Good morning, or good afternoon, or good night. I'm not sure what time is it that you're watching this video. But today, we want to be working um, a little bit in approximation. And under approximation, we want to work with three of the most common ones that we want to approximate. One, which is place value. The other one, which is going to be um, decimal place. And the third one that we want to work is going to be significant figure. Let's quickly take a look at place value. Under place value, what you need to know is going to be the, of course, the place value chart. We know that from the decimal place, if we have our decimal place, to the left, we will have ones. followed by tens, followed by hundreds, followed by thousands, then we have ten thousands, and so on, and so on, hundred thousand, then million, and we continue going on on that side. Today, right side we have we do not start with ones or we don't have any units but we start off with tens which is t and ths it ends with the ths notice that the left side all of the values that we have ends with s and then on the right side all of them will end up with ths tens hundreds Then we have thousands, thousands, right? And so on, and so on, and so on, right? So let's take a look at what we do whenever we approximate. So this is what we have to remember, right? The first number going to the left is going to be ones, then followed by tens, hundred. Thousands. On the right side, we have tens, hundreds, thousands. Let's say that we are asked to approximate the following number. And then it says to the nearest. So this, remember that approximation is, we're, we're trying to use, do the approximation because we want to be uniform, um, we want to work in the unit position so that at the end of any, every problem, all of us give us the same answer. We don't have one rounding after maybe two, for, after the decimal, the first decimal, the second decimal or so on. So in this case, most problems would have brackets and then on the side they would say to what you wanted they wanted you to approximate the number so let's take a look at what we have to the nearest units if you take a look at your place value chart you will notice that going on this side we have ones or unit being the zero followed by tens and then on the right side you will take a look at tens, hundreds, thousands, right? But in this case, it's asking you 
that your answer or the, or the number that's given to you be rounded off to the units. Now this is what we do. We first identify the position we want to round off. It says unit and it's normally here in brackets, which is the unit. So we say it is the zero we're approximating, right? So the zero is either going to be approximated to one or it is going to remain as zero, right? So step one, identify the number you are you are approximating, right? So identify the number you are approximating. And then if you take a look, the number we are approximating, we are approximating the number that is in the unit's position. The unit's position is the zero. Step two. Look. Look at the number to the right. So you look at the number to the right of the one that you have boxed in my case or the one that you are approximating, right? Look at the number to the right. To the right is it going to be the 9. So we have this here, right? Now what happens after that is that if the number, so here in step 2 you would say if the number is And then you have one, if the number is one, two, three, four, and let's include the zero. Zero, one, two, three, or, or four, you leave at is. You leave as is, right? So you leave it as it is. So, but if you notice, that's a nine. So it's not a zero, it's not a one, two, three, or four. It's none of those, so we, we can follow that one. We can leave it as is. That means it has to follow another one. Here as well, it says is the number is less than five, right? So if the number is less than five, which is zero, one, two, three, four. Two, if the number is five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So if you have a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, then you, then you add one. Right? You add one. Which means that if you find that the number that follows or to the right is a five, a six, a seven, a eight, or a nine, you add one to the number that you are approximating. Now let's take a look. The number that I am approximating is the zero because it's in the unit's position. The number that follows is going to be a nine, so it follows under this category. Now in this category, we have it is x is more than or equals to five more than or equals to 5, right? So more than or equals to 5, that's going to be the same thing that we have here, which is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? So, number that follows is a 9, and it says add 1. Now, we add 1 to the number we are approximating. The number we are approximating is in the unit position, which is the 1. So, plus 1. Right? And then from there on, you have the normal addition, which is, now all those, all the numbers after the decimal, or after the one you're approximating, will turn to zero. So when you find the unit's position, all those numbers that follow 
will become zero. So here we will say, all right, zero, zero, zero. And then zero plus one gives us one. Bring down our decimal, right? One, and then another one. So my number approximated to the unit's position is approximately 11. And that is going to be my answer.